5.17 is our last lesson in this extremely long unit. It is on sustainable forestry. Sustainable forestry looks at all the different things that humans do to minimize their impact. Um, so those include things such as making sure we have a constant source of timber while also being sure to keep that forest ecosystem healthy um, and thriving for the, all the critters that live in it. Um, keeping a sort of constant source of trees for climate control, carbon sequestration, um, all of those things. We begin with selective cutting. Selective cutting is an alternative to clear cutting. Clear cutting is the complete removal of trees, whereas selective cutting is only a few trees. Those might be trees that are the oldest trees, so they've grown the most, they can produce the most, um, the most wood. Um, maybe it's a certain species that you actually want as opposed to just taking down everything which might not be you know might not have all the same type of timber that you want it also leaves behind trees that can receive those areas and we have less of a habitat destruction what are you doing <laughs> i tell you this kid gets into everything uh, reforestation is the planting of trees in areas that were cut down so this is important because again that that kind of fixes those habitats that we destroyed. Stop that. It's playing with a battery. <laughs> uh, he, it also, um, I lost my train of thought. So trees, as they grow, they take in carbon, especially as they're young, they're taking in the most carbon and those for serious. So that's another way that we can mitigate climate change. When shopping for lumber or paper products, it's important to look for this label right here because that shows the company that they source their wood from use sustainable harvesting practices. So they didn't mow down entire areas of trees, and if they did, they had to reforest those areas. Um, they were more selective in the areas that they, they chopped down wood from, things like that. Reusing wood is another important thing to do. Um, so if the wood can't be used again, if it's just too too far gone, it can be then turned into paper or paper products. So this reduces the demand for more trees, so therefore we have less cutting down of trees. The use of integrated pest management is another way to keep our forest healthy. So it um, looks at, like so we're talking about like national forests. So using as I've to prevent pests from destroying this entire forest, uh, selectively cutting down infected trees so that they don't spread their pests to to more trees, and therefore you even if you had to cut down some trees, you stop that disease and then it keeps more trees alive. The use of prescribed burns also keeps our forests healthy. So prescribed burns. Um, gets rid of a lot of this underbrush and so back in the day we used to think like oh forest fires are terrible like we must not allow any fire whatsoever and we found that if there was an accidental fire the fires are much more intense and destroyed more so once they began to um using prescribed burns that got rid of a lot of the dead brush and therefore if there was a fire, it wasn't as bad, but then also it allows um, biodiversity to increase because you don't have, for instance, one type of like shrub taking over the entire area. It clears it all out and kind of keeps that ecosystem thriving. If you ever go through, um, like for instance, Apalachicola forest, you'll see in a lot of areas there's like some scorch marks, um, and that's where they've just done a prescribed burn. It's just showing scrap burns. So you can see they're typically very small. Um, they're very controlled and very monitor like heavily monitored so they don't, you know, get out of control. But it is important to the ecosystem. Also, there are some uh, seeds that won't even grow until they've been exposed to, uh, to intense heat from a fire. Um, and this is because, you know, that particular forest ecosystem may have been used to having wildfires 
And so therefore that adaptation is still around. Sorry, I'm very distracted by this kitten. Uh, but in summary, describe the methods for mitigating human impacts on forests. And with that, we are finally done with this humongous PowerPoint.